to get an apartment that is good looking but it's not spacious and it's possible to get an apartment that is very good looking very spacious in a very conducive a a a environment <laughs> to the channel welcome 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 my name is lovet amaka if you're new here thank you for stopping by thank you for watching my video you are welcome um a youtuber based in south sheets england yes so on here we share videos on lifestyle videos on um faith fashion vlog travel we just educate enlighten just share basically my life experiences with you guys welcome to the channel and if you're my og yes so i'm just going to use this two minutes two seconds to celebrate 1k subscribers guys thank you yes so your girl just hit a milestone yes 1k subscriber is not beans it's not joke i'm really 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 grateful i'm super excited for this journey this is like another level another phase and i'm really really here for it so on today's video i'm just going to uh, appreciate my subscribers my new subscribers my old subscribers thank you guys for tuning in thank you for watching my videos thank you for liking i appreciate you guys and i love you mwah, mwah, mwah. so today's topic i'm just going to be sharing this is like after gathering so much information like yeah information and seeing how it relates i'm going to be sharing with you guys few tips on how to get accommodations in the uk as international students yes this is going to help you navigate the the whole entire process of getting accommodation probably before you arrive in the uk as a student and then probably even when you arrive in the uk and you want to really get accommodation really fast and really quick this is going to help you land or get an apartment really really fast and today's video is proudly sponsored by amber student yes guys amber student is sponsoring this video and i'm going to be sharing this tip in relation to using amber student to get yourself accommodations here in the uk so without wasting much of our time let's get to the video so guys the number one thing you want to do if you're looking for accommodation we want to consider when looking for accommodation as an international student is number one checking the closeness or proximity of your apartment to um your campus or university you don't want to be studying in newcastle and then you're getting a, an accommodation in york no so amber student enables you to use their filters this is where you put down your location or your postcode of your school so you can see if the apartment is very close how many minutes walk how many minutes drive is going to be from your school google is your friend you can also check the address of the apartment to where your school is just make sure you get an accommodation that is very close to your school this is in, it, it, this is going to save you a lot of money that you realize because at the end of the day you're cutting down on transportation now talking about staying close to school you're going to be meeting different people of your of your kind yes like in nigeria you want to meet your fellow nigerians you don't want to be far from where your people are if i if i'm if i'm to say that so you are going to meet with your fellow students this is going to enable you to connect to to build a team or friends or whatever this is going to help even your social life in in general another thing is sorry i'm going to be looking down because i wrote some point and i don't want to forget it another thing is you're going to be having getting access to school amenities now if you're staying close to the school there are free school buses like um allocated to students that you can use and they are free this is going to cut down on a, like on transportation like i said you're not going to be paying because most of these buses are free and i think most universities universities have buses that run around the school areas and they are free so staying close to your school gives you that um chance to enjoy this basic amenities provided as a student to you another thing is um in case of emergency let's say you have emergency lecture you want to finish up an assignment and you need somewhere that is very very um quiet for your for your relaxation and for you to be able to read and understand you can easily just 
um, walk down to school without thinking of oh which bus am i going to use running down from one bus station to another you know so this is like one of the major reasons why you should consider getting accommodation or checking out how far an accommodation your accommodation is to your campus and let's say you you find an accommodation that is not really close to your your school which is which can happen and i think the best thing you can do is to check out the routes you're going to be the bus you're going to be using to get to school how much you're going to be spending and all that if it's favorable fine you can go ahead to book that um, apartment but if it's not i think you should explore other options one of the second points so the second point is checking the distance of your accommodation to this town center i call it town center but it's generally known as city center because you don't want to be outskirts of where the, the whole thing is happening do you understand if i don't know if you understand you don't want to be far from where it is happening even if you're not a social person even if you don't have a social life you don't want to be far from the city center just because there are a lot of opportunities that you can actually assess when you live close to the city center because the city center seems to be like one of the places where you have markets businesses shops whatever so you can assess different opportunities job opportunities your social life is being improved like so consider checking how far this um this apartment is to the city center you also check if there are shopping centers like let's say as the because i wouldn't i can't imagine myself living in places where we don't have like basic shops like asda where you can go for your shopping also consider how far yes you're also considering how far this um the city center is because you don't want to go for grocery shopping and you're traveling miles to actually gain access to shopping um shopping centers and all those things so consider or uh, consider getting accommodation that is close to even if not close to that is accessible to the city center so you can access all these shops and then you're not worried about the cost of uh, transporting yourself from the where you are to the city center to be able to access these shops and everything so you can also go to google and just type if like let's say um primark it will to show you the distance between your house your that's your accommodation to where primark is sorry for the sun it's out again so that is it for the second point just basically going to help you to navigate settling down in the uk as international student you don't want to be far like i said you don't want to be far from where it is happening because i, I can imagine going for maybe your first grocery shopping you bought you bought stuff for your apartment and all those things and then you're looking for taxi taxi is 20 pounds or 10 pounds at the end of the day you want to save costs right and maybe let's say you're going for shopping like every week or every weekend you're, you're using the taxi 10 pounds 20 pounds at the end of the month you find that you're spending more than you even make so I, um, consider getting accommodation that are in close proximity to city centers and busy areas so guys the third thing to consider when looking for an apartment or using a bus student i want to lay emphasis on this because we are always in like because we don't have so much time to to spend on house hunting because probably you're staying in an hotel or you're staying at airbnb i want to lay emphasis on es exploring other apartment options don't be let's say if let's say you, you're looking for an apartment in newcastle yes don't just see one and then oh this is it i want it without checking or exploring other options in those environments now this is going to help you with a lot of things let's say like don't like this is going to help you with a lot of things let's say you're somebody who is looking for more space and more like conducive environments to stay you might probably see the first apartment and it, it is more conducive but it's not spacious so exploring other options exploring other options apartment option is going to give you the leverage of finding out more like exploring other options because you might actually get an apartment that it's it's possible to get an apartment that is good looking but it's not spacious and it's possible to get an apartment that is very good looking very spacious in a very conducive environment so that is where you that is where it comes to 
exploring other options i don't know if you understand but i i think because we're always in a hurry to get or find an accommodation we always we don't know that we have other options we have we have other choices so take your time to view other options check out other apartments see if apartment a there's something different about apartment a that apartment b don't have and you're looking for or probably apartment c has everything you're looking for and because you did not check because you did not explore other apartment options you can't um you couldn't find that oh apartment c has everything so explore other options and now with amber students you just don't have only one listing one apartment listing you have multiple apartment listing in that environment so this is why i'm saying you should explore don't just say oh i saw number a i'm going for number a check out if apartment b c d f and they have other stuff you're looking for um the fourth tip is going for apartments that are built inclusive this is not just only amber i know right now it's really really difficult to find private landlord accommodations that are abuse inclusive it's really really difficult but with amber students all their accommodations all their apartments are abuse inclusive you can imagine and you don't get to worry about paying water bill electricity bill and um, heater bill if there's gas bill sorry you're not paying for council tax too so amber students just makes it really really easy because at the end of the day once you pay your rent let's say you got got a studio apartment for 450 every month you're going to be paying 450 pounds without thinking of any extra fee to pay if you're going to be paying for your electricity you're not going to be worried about all those stuffs so it saves you money at the same time and for an international student you're not going you don't need to be worried about oh is this next month's rent is going to be higher than the previous month on do you understand fluctuations in in the bills you're not going to be worrying about all those stuff which is something you're going to find very very hard finding bills inclusive houses or apartments in the uk by private own landlord so why not explore amber students if their bills are inclusive especially for people who are keen on saving more money yes people who are keen on saving more money i know for other reasons you might say okay i don't want amber students i want private owned landlord like apartments fine but just make sure you explore finding apartments that are bills inclusive it is going to save you money it is going to save you a lot of a lot of stress anyways because you're not thinking of um council tax you're not thinking about the electricity bill you're not thinking of water bill you're not thinking of gas bill so at the end of the month you know you're paying a certain amount of money every month for the period being to your landlord without worrying about extra fees like the bills that comes so that is one of the things you need to consider if you're looking for an apartment and i'm telling you to check out amber student apartments because these are like one of the major places you will see apartments that are bills inclusive most important tip i'm going to be sharing i've lost count guys but the most one of the most important tips i want to share with you guys is if you are in the uk already and you're looking for accommodation Please make sure you physically view that apartment. Yes. Make sure you go for viewing physically. You're there to see this apartment because you want to be paying for what you ordered. Um, I know there are visual viewing, which is very okay for people who are not in the UK already. But um, if you are in the UK, make sure you go and see this apartment. See if it's up to your taste, if the environment is conducive, if everything matches what you're seeing online. So that when, when you get there, when you pay, you're not seeing what I ordered versus what I got. I'm always, what I got, I'm always laying emphasis on that. So if you're in the UK, make sure you physically view um, this apartment. Make sure you check the surroundings, see that it is what you really want. If, if the house setting, the environment, everything matches with what you're looking for, then you can go, out, go ahead to book 
for this apartment and if you're not in the uk you can actually send somebody to view for you the main important thing is you're confirming that everything you're seeing online about this apartment it's what you're going to be seeing physically when you get there because there are situations where it's not even like just in not just in the uk everywhere you see a house it's beautiful it looks beautiful in the picture but when you go there physically you're like what is this which kind of environment is this what is happening like why is the house so small why is the house so this and so viewing this apartment physically helps you to clear every doubt you have about the apartment and if there's any corrections you want to make any suggestions you want to give amber student and their team are really are like they're available to answer to your questions and your queries so it makes it really really easy to come to a conclusion that oh i'm going to take this apartment or i'm going to book for this apartment now the thing is it's not going to be easy for people who are not in the uk that is why there is visual viewing visual viewing it makes it like it looks more realistic because somebody is i think i think i've been to a i've, I've, I've seen an apartment where this the roads like visual viewing only and when i wanted to view the apartment i think they made a video a realistic video of the apartment showing you each of the rooms the environment how it is if it's furnished they show you all they show you the bedrooms what is in need how furnished it is the kitchen and all those things this will give you a more realistic view of what the apartments look like but nothing beats going there physically to see what you're actually booking so this concludes this is like really really important for me because you can be heartbroken if you think you just go by pictures or what they show you online because the reality of it all is that there are some things can be hidden some things like some things you would want to see with your bare eyes you can't see it because you are not you did not go there to view so even when using amber students Make sure to go there physically to check the apartment. Trust me, I know the apartment is top notch. The apartments are like, like what you see is what you get. But going for, which is something they usually do because I think all the apartments, there's options for viewing. So why not just take that chance and then view the apartment yourself and see what, what it looks like physically. Yeah, so that is it. And then the next, um, and my final tip, to consider when getting an apartment using amber students or any in fact i might even say using amber students one of the biggest tips is starting on time you don't want to be leaving one day like your, your flight is today and you're looking for apartments the next day this is something i did not i did not even take serious that's the truth i didn't take it serious because i'm like oh when i get to the uk i'm going to find and i'm, I'm sure i shared how it paid because i ended up spending more money on mbmbs looking for accommodation prior to the fact that i did not even know how realistic amber students was yes so this is like the, the literary to the literal to truth english so start early if you are living for the uk let's say um which month are we in uh, april start looking for that accommodation in april and you can actually book for these accommodations prior to you coming let's say if you know you're leaving april 28 you can actually look for the, the accommodation find this accommodation and then you make a booking now with amber students you once you let's say you make a booking for six weeks that's let's say you know that you're coming on the 25th you book for this apartment starting from the 25th to probably let's say six weeks which is like the minimum time they could have, they can accept because amber student is a long-term um, accommodation provider so once you make a booking i think you pay a certain amount to hold down this apartment if in any chance you changed your mind or something happened you couldn't make it on that day with amber students you can you can actually get a full refund of your money as long as you tell them the reason why you're you, you're canceling that apartment you get a full refund for your money so there's no there's no um there's no issue about oh am i going to get my money am i so it's also important to discuss when you're when you are getting or booking for this accommodation discuss with the um, um, ambassador student team if what they are 
payment option is are you going to be getting a full refund what are the situations that could occur and you lose your money but i believe because these are questions that i wanted to answer for and i got the answer with amber students you get a full refund for your money as long as you tell them oh i'm canceling this thing for so so reason probably i missed my flight or i canceled my visa or i deferred my semester all those kind of reasons they would give you your money back so the, the, the main point is starting early guys don't wait till you arrive because your what you want your what you would be spending when you arrive you will not even there's not something you would thought you would spend but you're going to be spending it because unless if you have friends you have family people that you can stay in their place but for people like us that did not have somebody to stay with we ended up spending spending more than we budgeted in the in in an airbnb so start early make your search quick your preferences book in so i think if you know the date you're coming you can actually um I think you actually pay a booking fee to hold the apartment. I think I've mentioned that. And then in any way you want to cancel, you can actually cancel and then just tell them the reason why you're canceling. So this is all the tips I'm going to be sharing because a lot of us don't know that ambassador is not going it's not only like a platform where you see only maybe shared accommodation. Of course, there's shared accommodation based on your budget. So that is what they based on your financial budget but if you're looking for something inclusive something that is like private just to yourself studio apartment one bedroom you can actually get it with amber so they have different accommod they, they have different um accommodations or apartments based off of your preferences so if it's money you if it's based on your budget the accommodations they are accommodations based on how much you want to pay like to pay monthly and then i want to also say like if you want to know how much how do i know how much i'm going to be paying for that apartment i think in their web if you go to their web, website amberstudent.com you're going to be seeing like let's say if you if you search for an apartment in newcastle they are going to bring out a list of apartments and each of these apartments you might see i think most commonly you would see um they summarize it for a month probably they will say 350 per pcm that's per month if i'm right so let's say if they say per week all, all you have to do is just okay every i think in a month you have four weeks you time it by four if i'm correct so but i know they actually put the prices how much you're going to be paying per month on the picture of the apartment so you don't have to worry about oh i don't know how much they're going to be paying i'm going to be paying for that apartment they would they would provide the prices and if there's any extra charges the team is going to like once you reach out they are going to reach out to you on all with all the information you're going to be needing if there's any extra charges which i don't think there should be i don't think there's any extra charges apart from yeah there's no extra charges so that is it you would see the price of the accommodation written on yeah written on the image the apartment image if i'm correct yes apartment image picture yes so <laughs> that is it also that is basically it's like this information these tips is not just amber student based even if you're looking for private owned landlord but because this video is sponsored by amber and it's only them that would give you the juicy 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 apartment for less price for without stress bills inclusive use amber students yes explore amber students they are in different cities different cities in the uk in australia in canada I think probably the US too. So explore them anywhere you're going as an international student. Explore Amber students. So that is what I want to share with you guys. I hope this video enlightens you. I hope you're educated and I hope you picked a, a thing or two because right now I'm in that phase where I'm going to be sharing information for people who really need it. And I'm not going to be worried about who like I don't I don't I don't know how to put it because this content creation life is not easy there's going to be a lot of criticism 
people are going to tell you oh you're doing too much so but i'm sharing this information for people who really really need it and appreciate it i hope you enjoyed yourself i hope you pick a two or 18 or two from this video and thank you guys for watching so guys before i forgot because it's going to be very wrong for me to post this video and i don't tell you guys a quick update so i'm going to be off on youtube for probably a few weeks let me not be specific but i'm going to i'm not going to take long just because i want to improve on my craft i want to improve myself i just want to take this time to learn and unlearn because i i think i dive into youtube not knowing the niche i would want to focus on so i think i i need this time i'm going to take this time to develop learn unlearn improve do you understand improve everything because i am in that i am in that in that time in that season i mean my in that season where i want to learn new things, i want to improve like i don't want to see another person's content i'm like oh you're not doing well why not like do you understand so i want to just improve myself be intentional about content creation so i'm going to be taking these few weeks off to learn a lot of stuff so i just want to focus on that training and then just better myself and then by the time i'm back i'm sure you're going to see a huge difference and i'm going to be changing a lot of things on my youtube channel i'm going to be bringing out more content i'm going to be just spicing it up basically so don't go anywhere i'm going to be back in a chiffy chiffy so don't go anywhere okay love you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye